What we're going to take a look at right now is how to create liquid layouts in Dreamweaver CS4 with CSS. So what we see when we look at the content before us, we'll preview it to begin. We have an AP div tag with this information. We can see as we move and scale our browser that this is not moving with it. It's absolutely positioned and it's not adjusting based on the size of the browser. So let's see how we can create a liquid layout. And when we create a liquid layout, what will happen is it will center and scale based on the browser, based on the resolution of the monitor of the person that is viewing the website. So we can say that we want the website, we want our image to be about 70% of the monitor. So what we want to do is we want to go back to, we want this center part right here, um, this AP div tag with the artist statement and our navigation bar. We want this to be 70% um, of the monitor. So what we want to do is we're going to come into CSS styles. Okay, and let's actually come to the content and let's double click. Now, there's two boxes that we're going to work with. There's two actually categories, I should say, that we're going to work with. We're going to work with box and we're going to work with positioning. So let's begin with box. What we're going to do instead of assigning the box, the content, the, AT, the box that we've drawn, instead of assigning it a set amount of pixels, we're going to change it to a percentage. So we're going to actually come and we're going to change it to 70% and we'll delete the height. Um, the height, you might not have a height there now, um, but we're going to delete that height and we're telling Dreamweaver, we're telling CSS that we want this box. This is a liquid layout. It's going to adjust with the monitor and we want it to be 70% of a person's screen. Now let's come to the margin too. We're going to unclick same for all. We're going to say we want zero pixels from the top and let's come in and let's make the right auto and let's make the left auto. Now what's going to end up happening, bottom will be zero. What is going to end up happening is um, the left and the right will be about 15%. So the center box will be, the width will be 70% and then the right and the left will be approximately 15% um, each. Now we also want to take a look at positioning, okay? Let's get rid of the absolute, oh, and if we go back to box, let's hit apply, and well, now when we come to positioning, we should see 70%, but we don't. So let's come into our positioning and let's change this to 70%. Let's get rid of the height. Okay. And actually, you know what? We can get rid of the placement. We can get rid of where it is from the left too, because this is all going to be a liquid layout. We'll hit apply, change a little bit. Okay. Now let's preview this in Firefox and see how it's different. Preview in Firefox. We're going to save it. Now, as we scale our window, we can see that our browser it adjusts, it's about 70%. The inside, we set this at 70%, this at 15, this at 15. And there we have it.